So you're thinking about moving to Houston, but more specifically inside the loop. Uh, well, today I am here in the Heights. So if you want to learn more about what this historical district of Houston has to offer, stick around for the tour. Mason Ingram, Houston, Texas, built on the patent team. And if you like this video, make sure you like and comment down below, as well as subscribing, uh, especially if you want to see more about Houston, just so you don't miss any of these great videos that I'm posting. But without further ado, let's get in the tour. So the really great thing about living in the Heights is the location of it. You're just a few minutes from I-45, 610, which is the loop. You're right next to I-10. So you have really great access to three major highways in Houston. You're just about 10 minutes away from Memorial Park and the heart of downtown. And only 20 to 25 minutes away from the zoo, medical center, and NRG, which actually NRG is where the rodeo is hosted each year. So, I mean, you have great access to a lot of good things about Houston. This community is known for its shady boulevards, quaint shops, and interesting restaurants. Houston Heights was established as an alternative to the crowded, turn-of-the-century downtown Houston. This suburb was built on and named for its site on high land, bordered by the Wide Oak Bayou. The Heights also has a hike and bike trail that will actually take you all the way into downtown Houston. So right now, I'm currently just one or two streets over from 19th and 20th Street which that's where you're gonna find your kind of like famous restaurants, you would say, like the Burger Joint, Hop Dottie, Torchies, uh, the Waffle Bus, Rice Box. So really, if you're moving here kind of for the things to do in the Heights, being as close as possible to 19th and 20th Street would really be my recommendation since that's where a lot of things to do in the Heights are. While living here, you can expect to see many of the residents walking and biking to the favorite restaurant, coffee shop, or antique store. The Heights also has a busy nightlife, but the quiet neighborhoods offer an easy escape for the residents from everything going on. This neighborhood is Houston's largest intact historic subdivision. Known as Houston's first suburbs, the Heights is home to many young professionals who want to have all the amenities of this city with a little space to call their own. The streets are lined with Victorian-style mansions and charming restored bungalows. Houston Heights is recognized as one of Houston's most stable yet diverse communities. Just north of the electric Montrose district in minutes from downtown, the Houston Heights is one of the city's fastest growing neighborhoods. This neighborhood is also home to the Art Car Museum, and many of the older homes have been remodeled and over 100 Houston Heights structures are registered in the National Register of Historic Places. The Heights is zoned to Houston Independent School District, which is the largest school district in Texas. There are roughly 194,000 students at 276 campuses and one of the largest employers in Houston with around 27,000 teachers and staff. As always, thank you for tuning into my video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I'll catch you in the next one.